minute early. <laughs> L-A-T-K joined Lady T1973. Welcome. So glad you're here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm just going to give everybody a second to, to get on here today um, and um, join. And I'm going to make a very, very simple recipe today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started um, with a very simple recipe. And the reason that I'm doing a simple recipe is because I've had people say to me, Chelsea, it just takes so much time to juice. Um, it's expensive to juice. Um, like there's all kinds of excuses that come up when it when it comes to juicing. So this recipe, I want to take all of the excuses out of it. <laughs> all of them. This is a simple one. I cut these carrots up this morning. I didn't even need to cut them up. The reason I cut them up is probably because sometimes cutting vegetables for me has become therapeutic. But really, this is 27 carrots. I think this will probably be about a liter of juice. But ultimately, if you want to get a liter of juice, it's probably going to be about three pounds of carrots. That's what this is probably. It may, it may be more, and it probably depends on the size of your carrots. So it's really difficult for me to say how many carrots it's going to take. But th around three pounds um, or 27 carrots... Or it's also going to depend on the type of juicer you have and the amount of juice that is extracted from your, from your carrots based on the type of juicer you have. The other thing about carrots is it, they are cheap. Like you could go to the store and buy a 25 pound bag of carrots in some places for under $20. So say, for example, it is three pounds of juice. I mean, you've got like, let's see, three, six, nine, 12, 15, um, 18. So you've got, you've got almost eight liters of juice from one bag of carrots. That's more than a week of juice. So it's a cheap way for you to get juicing done. And I'm going to give you the benefits of, of juicing carrots in just a minute. But before I do that, those of you who don't know me, welcome to What Chelsea Eats here on Instagram. My name is Chelsea Knudsen. I am a certified holistic health coach, certified life coach, <coughs> excuse me, and a detoxification specialist. And I help women to heal naturally reproductive issues. But what tends to happen is when they start working on their reproductive issues, if they have any other issues in their lives, in their bodies, um, those issues start to heal as well. Because you cannot put all this healthy food in your body and treat your body well and expect it not to get well. It will get well. So I wanted to say that. So those of you who are just, just tuning in, we're doing a simple juice. And the reason I'm doing this simple juice is because People are complaining about how expensive it is to juice and how much time it takes to juice and how much, you know, how much you have to put into it. So we're doing carrot juice today. Simple carrots. I cut these up. I, I mentioned this in the beginning, but I cut these up just because cutting vegetables sometimes is therapeutic for me. You do not have to cut up your carrots. All you have to do is rinse them off. You can spend the time scrubbing them if you want to. I don't. That's, you know, you can use your own um, judgment on that. I don't have time to do that, but I do cut the ends off. I cut the top off and the, the, the end off of the carrots. And usually I care, I cut them in their, I mean, I use them, I usually juice them in their whole form. All right. Carrots, let me um, turn the juice on. Carrots are... In my opinion, carrot juice in general is a healing juice. It is the first juice that I ever learned to, to juice. 
As a matter of fact, when I, when I learned about juicing, I didn't even know that all the combinations of juicing that are available, I didn't even know they were available. I thought you had to use carrots in your juice. Um, so I juiced carrots when I first learned about juicing for three months straight before I learned that you could put another type of juice, another type of vegetable in the juicer in order to make a healthy juice. But carrot juice actually helps me restore my period because it had been gone for a long time. I had polycystic ovarian syndrome and it was severe. I, I, I had a, a severe case of polycystic ovarian syndrome and the way my life was with polycystic ovarian syndrome is I had cystic ovaries. Not everyone who has PCOS has cystic ovaries. I had cystic ovaries. I had um, I had this spouts where I wouldn't bleed for like six months, and then I would bleed for six months. One time I bled for an entire year. So by the time I got to the place where I started juicing. I didn't know that the juicing was actually going to do anything for my reproductive system. The reason I started juicing is because I felt so horrible. I was full of inflammation. I was extremely obese, like extremely obese, and I needed help. So what the carrot juice did for, and the diet change did for my health was a bonus whenever I got my period straightened out. Um, after that three months of straight carrot juice, well, I had I ate good food too, but I drank a liter of carrot juice every day. I got a regular period back, and the cyst on my ovaries went away, and it was confirmed by a doctor. Um, my hair that was falling out by the handfuls stopped in its tracks, and after eight months of um, after eight months of consistent carrot juice, <laughs> what happened was my hair went from here to the middle of my back. And it was growing like a weed and I had no idea and that had never happened in my life. And I believe it came from my consistent use or drinking of carrot juice. And there are some people who don't believe in carrot juice. They say that it's um, too high on the uh, high, gly high glycemic index, which I think is a bunch of garbage because I was also insulin resistant at that time and my blood sugar levels stabilized. Fasting glucose, like 80. Um, everything started to perfect in my body when I was drinking straight carrot juice. So carrot juice helps you to cleanse your liver and we need our livers to be clean so that we can get rid of reproductive issues. Um, carrot juice helps with eyesight. Oh, that's another thing. When I started the started drinking carrot juice, I was um, wearing, that's when I first started wearing glasses. And um, four months after that, I didn't need my glasses anymore. So maybe I need to start drinking some more carrot juice on a more regular basis so I can uh, get rid of these glasses again. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. The other thing I want to say is I had, before I started drinking the carrot juice, I had been somebody who just bled and bled and bled. Maybe sometimes I didn't bleed for months, but most of the time I spent bleeding. And I'm not talking about like a little bit of blood. I'm talking about hemorrhaging kind of blood. Like you got to live in the diaper pads from the Always Company, you know what I'm talking about? I lived in those. And I know I was anemic. I didn't go to, doc to the doctors to, I didn't always go to the doctors to get it confirmed, but I knew I was tired, exhausted. 
I had all the symptoms of anemia. I never took iron pills back then. Never. And guess what? I believed that my iron was restored. Because juicing carrots, yes, I'm, and I see the question, am I only juicing car carrot juice? Yes, I'm drinking only carrot juice. I'm juicing only carrot juice, and I'm doing it on purpose because people say that they don't have time to juice or juicing is too expensive and carrots are cheap. You can get a, sometimes a 20, 25 pound bag for under 20 bucks, and that's gonna give you like eight liters of juice. So that's why I'm juicing just carrots because it is they are powerful. Um, so they cleanse the liver. We need our livers to be cleaned out so we can balance these um, hormones. Because if our liver is a mess, um, then we can't metabolize the excess estrogens that or excess hormones in general that our bodies get bombarded with every day. So don't sleep on carrot juice. There's a lot of people who say that you shouldn't uh, drink carrot juice. There are people who heal from cancer drinking straight carrot juice. Like, don't believe the hype. <laughs> it helps your heart, it boosts your heart rate. It's also full of vitamin C. Those of you who are, who are scared you're gonna get COVID or something like that, it's full of vitamin C. Not only is it full of vitamin C, but, it, but carrots just in general boost your immunity. So you have that. It also will help you regulate your menstrual cycle. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, so if you didn't hear me, um, oh, skin, skin health. At that time, I had cystic acne. Very bad cystic acne, it was right here on my face. And sometimes I would get it on my chin. And it was embarrassing. It was just disgusting. And guess what? Carrots. Now, since then, have I learned that there are other powerful juice recipes? Absolutely, yes. But the reason that I'm presenting this one is because this is easy. Everybody has access to carrots, some, some way, shape, or form. Um, after three months, there's a question. I did eight uh, carrot juice every day for eight months. A liter of carrot juice every day for eight months. Most of that eight months, I did do a liter of carrot juice. But after the third month, I learned about beet apple juice. So what I would do is switch between beet apple juice and carrot juice. But mostly, I would carrots because they were the cheapest and they gave me the most bang for my buck and it is what I learned to juice at that time so I like to strain my juices because I like them to be smooth nice and smooth so um also I think I think that carrot juice is just liquid hemoglobin so if you are having blood issues, like say, for example, you know, you went to the uh, doctor, they said you were anemic or your iron was low, and they put you on all these iron pills that really don't do anything. Iron pills are not the answer to anemia, just so you guys know that. They're not. <laughs> they're, not they're not the answer. But um, if you flood your body with with the with carrot juice, this is just one option. There are other options for it. Your blood will be restored. And some people even, when they don't register on the, um, on the range that the doctor says is anemic, they still have like the anemia tendencies, like they still feel tired and fatigued. You know, their skin doesn't look right. They're, you know, like they, they still have blood issues. Giving yourself carrot juice will help you really overcome that. And just because you're not anemic on the scale that the doctor says when you get your blood done, doesn't mean that you don't need your blood built. 
we all need our blood built up because most of the time we spend our lives eating all that junky food and we have to overcome and it takes time to overcome and I'm just going to tell you you can't just say I'm going to drink carrot juice and I'm going to do what else what other, what other things that I want to do I'm going to eat whatever I want it doesn't work that way you have to clean up your life and if you're having trouble cleaning up your life so what you just you know if you fall you get back up you just keep on going and eventually you'll get to a place where you're not falling off all the time so I just wanted to share that like I most of the time I have people you know say Chelsea I you know I do well for a little while but then I fall off especially whenever they're around friends and family and stuff like that they you know they have the little bit won't hurt syndrome and I know how that is I've been there it's hard it's hard to be on this lifestyle and live in this world where people are eating junk all the time but if you keep working at it every day you just keep putting one foot in front of the other every day it will you will get to a place where you won't put the junk in your body anymore because you'll stop craving it. And I know it's easier said than done, but it is doable. Love you too, Vegan Barrett. Merry Christmas to you. And so I'm almost done with my carrots. And for example, let's say you don't like the taste of carrot juice. One of the things you can do just make the carrots, just do what I just did, and then add some lemon to it. It changes, just one lemon. It changes the whole flavor of the juice. The other thing you can do with carrot juice if you don't like the taste of it, is you can add an apple. It'll change the flavor of it. You can even add a pear. It'll change the flavor of the, of the um, juice as well. So have our carrot juice. I forgot to get my jug out. Give me a second. I'm going to move away from the camera. One second. Hopefully I can reach my mason jars. Yes. I'm a very short woman. So the, um, my cabinets, I have to use a, um, step stool. So this made, let's see. Wow. Almost exactly 32 ounces juice so that was about 27 carrots or I didn't weigh them but I have weighed them in the past yep 32 ounces of juice you see that I don't know how I did that but <laughs> that's what it is 32 32 um, ounces of juice this was 27 carrots or three pounds of carrots it really depends on your juicer depends on how um, much juice you're gonna get my pulp is dry that's why I, one of the other reasons why I love this juicer my pulp's dry and it really does give me a good juice yield so let's taste this carrot juice Oh Lord, carrot juice goes straight, mm, straight to your cells. Whew, it's almost like I got high off of it. <laughs> All right, let me answer your questions. Get yourself some carrot juice. This here is a Green Star Elite juicer. This is a high quality juicer. Um. <laughs> All the information for this juicer is in my link in my bio. It is an expensive juicer. Let's just put it out there right now. This juicer costs about, when I bought it, it was $550. Now I think it's about $600, but it's worth every penny. Um, the reason that um, 
I think this juicer is worth every penny is because one it is a cold press juicer and it has gears in it that press the juice but it has magnets in it so anything or when your juice passes through any nutrients that might come out of the juice it gets pulled back into the juice with the magnets so that's why i um like this juicer that's one of the reasons why i like to use it juicer and you said i'm afraid dirt on carrots if you don't peel them you're saying a little dirt is okay oh yes so the dirt on vegetables is good for your gut microbiome um you <laughs> i mean you can't be afraid of dirt what you want to be afraid of is nasty stuff like chemicals that are being sprayed on on um on crops when you buy organic carrots that's not the case they're not spraying them with with crap um they are growing them consciously organically and just you don't need to scrub them you don't need to peel them as a matter of fact in the peel there's a lot of vitamins and nutrients that our bodies need so you said can a hypoglycemic person drink carrot juice without problems with blood sugar problems it depends and i'm going to tell you what it depends on first of all i was anemic I mean, i'm sorry i'm sorry i was insulin resistant um and i probably is very possible that i was diabetic when i started drinking carrot juice it was not diagnosed by a doctor saying i was diabetic but i was let me tell you all the signs every last sign and what it depends on is what you're eating with it so if you're drinking carrot juice don't go to mcdonald's don't be eating you know high fat food when the to keep your sugars balanced you need to keep that fat in your diet low and most people don't understand what a low fat diet means but it means like don't be eating a whole avocado in a day don't be eating a bunch of nuts and seeds snacking on nuts and nuts and seeds like let fat be a condiment and not be let it be your whole meal and when you do that your body will be balanced you won't have you won't have the high sugar crashes and stuff like that as a matter of fact on my youtube channel i did a video called called the truth about fruit sugar if you go look at that video it'll explain it a little bit more hey yeah so you've been a um, raw vegan for almost four years good for you i'm excited for you I'm not a raw vegan. I don't like to classify myself as anything, but I do eat mostly raw foods. Um, sometimes I'm completely raw. Sometimes I'm fasting. Sometimes I eat more cooked food than is good for me. Um, you know, so I go through my iterations, but ultimately what I would like to be is high raw because I feel the best, but I actually feel absolutely the best on the raw if I'm really being honest. <laughs> Um, I don't see any other questions, but let me see if I had anything else that I wanted to mention. Um, so overall, the point I wanted to get across in this video is if you are struggling with getting juicing in your diet, like you have a juicer, um, you, you know, really can't afford to buy all the different types of produce and you want the best bang for your buck and time buck, so to speak, buy yourself some carrots, do carrots, drink some carrot juice. So you're welcome. Um, is it car 69 Z? Yeah. So anyway, that's all I wanted to share today. I'm so glad that um, you joined me. I am, this is my last week on Instagram before the end of the year. So next year, the first week of January, I think what I have planned for Wednesday at 11, I think that is the 5th of January, if I'm not mistaken, I will be sharing with you a healing smoothie recipe. So even though I love to talk about juicing and I think juicing is king, I really do think juicing is king when it comes to healing. Smoothies are good too. They're, sec they're the second best. They're not as good as juicing i'm just going to be honest with you but don't feel like if you can't juice that
forget it and don't do anything. Do a smoothie. So in January, I'm going to do a smoothie recipe. I'm probably going to do several recipes. I'm trying to come every week as time allots. Um, I'm really busy at the beginning of January because my new 90-day Walk to Freedom from Fibroids group coaching program starts um, on the 9th, I'm sorry, on the 10th of January and my emotional healing group starts on the 9th of January. So I'm really busy during that time, but I'm, I'm trying to organize myself now so that I am able to be live with you all because I really love interacting with you all. I really want to know what you want to see. So please, by all means, um, send me messages, um, comment in the chat, what you want to see, all those types of things. And I'll be glad to try and pull those things together. The information that I do share is information that I really think is going to help you. I have a lot of information in my head and in my heart about healing the body from reproductive issues, but I try to only share the things that I know is going, that will give you um, what you need for it to work because we want results, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it, ladies. I will be on in my prayer group at 11, I'm sorry, at noon to pray for you all. I'm excited to see you all there. That's on my Facebook group. Um, it's called, my Facebook group is called Prayer and Fasting for Shrinking Fibroids and Healing Reproductive Issues or something like that. But if you just type Prayer and Fasting, you probably will see my group come up. You can join. I'll be praying today and tomorrow, and then that tomorrow's the last day for the year. But I'm excited, ladies. I am going to um, go now. But if you're fighting some type of issue, some type of disease, some type of reproductive issue, if you have cancer, if you have diabetes, if you have high blood pressure, add the carrot juice, get the foods to avoid out of your diet. And if you need that ebook, it's in my, um, in my bio. Click the link in my bio and you'll see the foods to avoid list there. You can download it there. Um, there's a couple of downloads in there. I think there's even a juicing ebook, um, a free juicing ebook in my um, bio as well. But anyway, I love y'all. Merry Christmas. I speak life over you, blessings over you, and I will talk to you all next year. Love you.